<laughs> Your beard kind of sticks out the bottom of just a little bit. Welcome back to another Wednesday follow-up, y'all. Welcome back. I don't know if you can hear him, but he did say welcome back to another Wednesday follow-up. Yeah, we're following up on this. On the helmet. Yeah. Pretty sturdy feeling. Oh, yeah, dude. It's a lot better with the foam in there. Yeah. You're going to have to take that helmet off. Because uh, that got you something. Uh -huh. That got you some of this limited run, best made sour pickle beer. I'm making a face. Yeah, he's making a face. You're going to make a fucking sour face here in a minute. Crack that open, big boy. A pickle a beer. A sour pickle beer. First, before you... Before it's you, best made. Just like the actual pickle. Best made brand. Brewed and canned by Martin House Brewing Company in Fort Worth, Texas. So all the best alcohol comes from Texas. Is it gonna like make me poop like pickle juice? Like when you drink straight pickle juice? I mean, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> before before you crack it open and try it, what do you think it's gonna be like? Gonna be like carbonated pickle juice. Yeah? Like just exactly like that. Okay, well we'll see. We'll Does see. anybody know that this exists out there? I just learned of it the other day when I bought it. I bought like two six packs and I, I needed to know. So I, I also saved some for the follow-up. I had another one, but I drank, I drank it. It smells like somebody stuffed a hamburger into a can. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what that taste like? That is weird. Is it weird? You don't like it? I do like it, but it was a shock. What does it taste like? It tastes like <laughs> carbonated pickle it tastes juice. tastes like carbonated pickle juice. That's right. This is strange. <laughs> Literally, at beer two, you're like, wow, this is just pickle juice. Wow. I'm going to have diarrhea. I'm going to have diarrhea. Swamp, swamp butt. And swamp butt. Acidic swamp butt. Caustic acid booty. This isn't printed on the can like most ones. Like It's plastic. Yeah. Like you're going to poke a hole in the can. I regret giving you that knife. You're going to cut your hand open. Now I feel like a concerned parent. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's super shiny. So people liked the Mandalorian helmet. As they should. I also uh, released another video Sunday. It was a Means Mini. I haven't done a Means Mini in a long time. Means Mini! I don't do Means Minis as often as I should. I'm very pleased with how that came out. It's there. pretty dope, man. I, got, I gotta say. Dude, the paint shipping is looking legit. I still need to order a proper visor, but I heard from my dad. No, my dad. <laughs> and he says that was really cool. It thanks, is really cool. Thanks, Dad. Heard from uh, the silver, the creepy crawly silverfish. The cre he likes it, and he said he's totally in on Star Wars projects. We could do some more Star Wars projects in the future. Jeremiah Johnson mess. Jeremiah Johnson <laughs> jumping Jehoshaphat mess. Yeah. <laughs> He said, so badass. Thanks, JMS. And he said, uh, The Mandalorian is probably his favorite show right now. It's a pretty Dude, good one. It's a great show. Dude, you know who else I heard from on this project? Mary Dunn? Mary. Mary Dunn. Actually, Mary Dunn. There's uh, a Dunn. The E on the end makes Mary, me feel like it could be Dunn. Amelia Dunier. <laughs> Dunier. Yeah, I heard from her. She, she commented on one of the yeah. six jams. Actually, I saw that. Thank you, Mary. That's great. Thank you, Mary. I was starting to get worried about you. Yeah. And not in like a selfish, where are you type of way, but it's like, I hope... I hope Mine was selfish, where are you? <laughs> it's like, I hope Mary's alright. She liked the, the project, it was fun to watch, like the results. And it just looks like dirt. So that was it on the Mando helmet. No HTFG. We get Mary, we lose Gary. In the last follow-up, we went over Plank. You asked, what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen at a gas station? Yep. And I asked everybody to leave a controversial woodworking comment. And I am very pleased with all of them. I actually agree with all of them. Oh, wow. So not, not so controversial on your end, then, eh? Not on my end. Dude, so Ken Ferner. The fern tree himself. The fern tree himself. He said, a radial arm saw is so much safer than a table saw. You could rip cut, cross cut... Dado, router, shape, sand, fix your car, and pay your taxes. Yeah, I could see a kickback being safer on the radial arm saw because the blade is it's spinning towards you, but if it grabs that wood, it's going to pull it. 
Jungle mess. Jungle mess. He said the weirdest store thing. Uh, he had a buddy go in to use the bathroom that also had a door on the outside. He said the next thing we knew, the toilet was being pushed outside the door by one of his buddies. It was broken when he went in, not hooked up, and the store clerk didn't say anything about it. He had to stand at the toilet, and then all of a sudden the toilet's like <laughs> just getting pulled away. From what? Him. Fucking. I'd be like, I'm not that repulsive. You'd be like, what kind of Twilight Zone bullshit is this? He said his controversial statement. He is sick of saying all these YouTubers with every super high-end, expensive tool and every little jig for a project, but trying to pander to the everyday woodworker about how you could do that just as easily at home. He said the worst part is these are channels I like. Every woodworker and every woodworking channel... You know, some of them get successful at it, and I'm, like, I feel like if you get successful at it, you're not going to stick with Harbor Freight tools anymore. So I do agree with JMS, but I also think it's fine to upgrade as, as it becomes feasible for you to do so. so HTFG, we did hear from him on that one. <laughs> Hooty tooty footy gooty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he said he had to drive someone home who was drunk, and he said he was buzz driving Gary. I've never done that before. I have never done that, right? Right. They had to stop at a gas station. The drunk guy goes in to get more beer, and uh, he said there was a cop at the register. And he said uh, the cop talked to him and let him drive home. Let him drive the guy home, even though Gary was buzzed. And the guy who was drunk talked to the cop, too. And he said the guy... Bought the beer while talking to the cop. All of these have to do with, like, drinking and going to a convenience store and or using the bathroom and or both. And Gary's woodworking comment was, uh, he said he's sick and tired of woodworkers making jigs. Where where the wood and parts cost more than just buying, like, a, a jig at the store. But I, I get pretty tired of seeing, like, these fucking... You go to watch a project video and of a guy, like, making a making a desk, and he's like, I made this specialty jig to find the center of this board so I can drill a dowel into it, and it's like... Or you could have just glued <laughs> it up as a panel without any dowels or anything. I'm going to make a jig that is sentient and can make its own decisions. <laughs> <laughs> no, I kind of get tired of jigs, too. Like, you don't need a jig for everything. You just don't, so stop it. Stop it. Dude, Steve I. Hello, Steve I. Yeah, he said the weirdest thing he's seen in a convenience store was uh, someone's car flying into the building. That's pretty scary. That's wild. I would be scared. And so far, you have the best... Weird convenience store story. Yeah, he said a guy was working under the hood, and it just took off on him. That's terrifying. He said his controversial woodworking statement is a uh, Coca-Cola wood is an underrated species that doesn't get the respect it deserves. I agree with that. <clears throat> Nothing happened. I just suddenly have a jacket on. I, I have a tiny hot dog. Uh, woo, there you go. Y'all, I was going to wear this for the whole follow-up, and I forgot. He forgot. So Luke Silverfish... He posted the lyrics, I think the lyrics, for the log song. He says he calls more shots than Babe Ruth. I don't get that because I don't like baseball. I think baseball sucks. Babe Ruth, I think the story behind it was he, he pointed and was like, I'm going to hit a home run, and then he did. I'm going to hit that ball over there. <laughs> no, y'all. Boom. <laughs> I hit that ball so hard, y'all. Yeah, see, now now that's stirring up the real controversy. Yeah. Before any of y'all say anything, I know, I know I couldn't do it. I don't care. Luke's a uh, convenience store thing. He saw a robber put down his gun on the counter to pick up the money and then got shot by the clerk with his own gun. I love seeing those videos. Yeah. It's it's even there's cooler. Some, there's some good ones. I mean, it's even cooler that you got to see it in person, Luke. And uh, his controversial woodworking statement, he said he's tired of everything being done with chalk paint. Huh? I, I've only seen like one project with chalk like, paint, so I don't I look, don't feel like I don't mind. I feel like looking at that would just make me think of my lanta. My and lanta. I hate my lanta. Dude, what's your uh, weekly question? W what's the question? I don't have the question yet. Have you guys seen The Witcher on Netflix yet? It's lit. He says it's lit. It's pretty good. That's what I was going to bring up earlier. You're like, can't steal the glory away from the Mandalorian. <laughs> Ma Manda glory. So since this was a Star Wars project, my weekly question is I want to know what is y'all's favorite Star Wars movie? And I guess you could include the Mandalorian if that's your favorite. Also, who 
Who is your favorite Star Wars character? My favorite Star Wars movie is probably Rogue One. I might catch a lot of heat for that one, but that one was... It was gritty. It was a legitimate war movie. It had Donnie Yen. Rogue One was great. Who's your favorite Star Wars character? Oh, man. Quill. <laughs> Quill. <laughs> Quill from The Mandalorian. My favorite has always been A New Hope. I've really, really been liking The Mandalorian a lot. I don't think I can do the rest of this with that on. Rick and Mosh, favorite Star Wars character. I don't know if we all like this, but my favorite, I guess you could say characters, has always just been regular old stormtroopers. And behind them was probably Boba Fett. I think Din Djarin wins over Boba Fett. So I want to know what y'all's favorite Star Wars movie is and your favorite Star Wars character. So anyways, I got a decent project coming for, coming Friday. There's going to be a decent project on Friday. Friday. Anyways, I think, I think that's all we got. So do the liking, do the commenting, do the subscribing, <laughs> do that. Thank y'all very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Boy, boy. Jeff, you need you need to convince Caleb to put one of those syringe things in his ears no. to clean it out. Look, see, she ain't even listening. I grabbed a beer. Grab it, please. <laughs>